As a Hollywood animal trainer with nearly 40 years of experience, Jim Brockett is quite unique in that many of the animals that he has applied to some of your favorite motion pictures are far from your everyday house cat or dog. Jim works with snakes, bugs, and a variety of other critters. Okay, this is a this is a rattlesnake. This is a huge rattlesnake. How big is this guy? This, this is a western diamondback rattlesnake. It's about five feet. Now, when you're training animals for movies and commercials, this is basically the policy. This is kind of what you do. This is where you where you are, right? We'll stay back. These snakes can strike about half the length of their body. So this snake is five feet. So it can strike about two and a half to three feet. Mm -hmm. You and I are back about five feet. So we always allow a, an extra an extra margin of safety in, in addition to what I think the snake can do. And we see the rattler just go in there. Yeah. It's just, just uh, amazing. That's just incredible. The rattle is, is actually made out of the same stuff that fingernails are. It's keratin. And they grow a new rattle every time they shed their skin. It has nothing to do with their age. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think that you can tell how old a snake is by the rattle. Mm -hmm. You can't. Sometimes they'll shed their skin three or four times a year. And again, you, you know, you're a professional. You've been doing this for a long time. You know, obviously, you, you you know how to handle these guys and stuff. What are the tips for people that you know they come across a rattlesnake in the wild? The best thing to do is just back away from it. If you're on a trail, just walk around it. Mm -hmm. Just rattlesnakes really don't want to mess with you, mm -hmm. but they will defend themselves. Right. And a rattlesnake bite, one from the a rattlesnake bite from a snake this size will kill you. Wow. Uh, from smaller snakes, it is still a really bad thing. I mean, there's a lot of tissue damage. It's basically a digestive enzyme. Mm -hmm. and what it does, it just starts digesting the meat, mm -hmm. the meat being your muscle. Oh, wow. So it's, it, it, the best case, it's going to be very painful and disfiguring. Mm -hmm. The worst case, it kills you. Wow. So the best thing, again, leave them alone. If most people get bitten by not watching where they're walking, mm -hmm. rattlesnakes don't always rattle like this one does, but if, they get bitten on the on the leg below the calf, mm -hmm. and again, it's from stepping on the snake or stepping right next to it without watching where they're going, or it's on the hands by putting their hands on, on a ledge or a, a rock up above where they can see. Right. These so, are movie rattlesnakes, you know. They're way bigger than most people will ever see, but for movies, that's, that's what you want. Yeah. That and this one's really mean. All of ours are pretty mean, because no one ever wants to see a nice rattlesnake. Right, so the, the message is, when somebody does come across a rattlesnake, most importantly, go the opposite direction. Exactly, just go around it. Don't try and, the other the other people that get bitten are the ones that try and either catch it yeah. or kill it. And that's, that's how they get bitten. All right, Jim, thank so. you for coming on.